On the run to the first of the 17 fences, Storm Control in the purple and yellow, Le Legere in the light green and Sam Brown in the black and red out wide, all pushing a strong early pace along with Duc de Beauchene at the back of the field wanting no part of the early gallop. Storm Control leads Le Legere to the second to Sam Brown and Topville Ben in the red and yellow racing out wide. Up Helia King in the emerald green settles in midfield. Ahead of Sapage in the blue and white. And a couple of lengths away to Lord de Manil in a uh, purple and yellow jacket. And a slightly bigger break to the final pair. Duke de Beauchene, who races wide of Go Steady, who's got the red cap. And Lord de Manil didn't really have a cut over the third. It just cost him a, a length or two in the air. So left-handed they go for the first time on the run between fences uh, three and four. And Storm Control leads them towards the end of the... Uh, first half mile. A couple of lengths in advance of Lolo Jurian and then Topville Ben shading third. Sapage in a blue and white jacket getting up on the inner of Sam Brown in the black and red. Up Helia King in the green silks wide of that pair and then Lord de Manil and his three length break back to go steady and away to the left a Duke de Beauchesne. Storm Control at the fourth ahead of Lolo Jurian and all nine of the old boys Jumping soundly there in this Unibet middle distance chase series. On to fence five they come. Lodger in the light green coming almost up sides. Storm control. But storm control was a little swifter through the air. And they make the run on now towards the next pair of fences, numbers six and seven. The leading duo followed away to the left by Topville Ben, Sapage in the blue and white. Seeking to make still better what's already been a good afternoon for Venetia Williams up and down the country. Sam Brown, up between horses, hopped over neatly, ahead of up Helia King, Lord de Menil in the purple and yellow, and then go steady and Duke de Beauchene, and they're already bearing down on the seventh. Le Legere, and alongside Storm Control, they lead the field left-handed on the incline. To Sapage, right around the inner, top will bend wide, and Sam Brown pokes his nose between that pair. Couple of lengths away to up Helia King, the emerald green silks, the shadow to... Lord de Manil, and Go Steady, Red Cap, and Duke de Beauchene, White Cap, remain the last two. Downhill now, on to Fence 8, plain fence uh, before the water. Storm Control, lobbing along, enjoying himself in front. Jumps neatly, a more neat than the Ligerian, who just reached for it a little. Topville Ben, perhaps mildly inconvenienced, wasn't particularly fluent himself. And now they close in on the water, approaching halfway. Storm Control, Le Legere and Topville Ben surpass the white sleeves. Sam Brown up Helia King and Lord de Manil down at the rail, all in close attendance. And then the patiently ridden duo of Go Steady and Duke de Beauchene as they take the first of a pair of ditches. Storm Control leading them on uh, towards the next. Fence 11, Storm Control. Again, very neat, very accurate. Duke de Beauchene once more the last to land. Sam Brown. Has slightly lost interest at this point. He's dropped himself back to be last but one. He needs a little bit of encouragement as they race across the top of the hill and on towards uh, six out. This is the last of the ditches. Another good jump from Storm Control. Whereas Sam Brown and Duke de, bon uh, Duke de Beauchen lingered in the air at the back of the field. Storm Control from Le Ligerien as they come to five out. Then Topville Ben out wide Sapage right around the inner travelling kindly in the blue and white. Up Helia King untidy there. The emerald green needs a life. Now Lord de Manil is working his way into it up the inner in the cheek pieces. Purple and yellow jacket. Go Steady has latched onto his tail. Sam Brown has uh, just perked up a little bit. He's got himself uh, back in touch. It's hard work though due for Duke de Beauchene. And there Storm Control four out missed out. Sam Brown made a mistake as well. And Le Ligerien comes almost back alongside Storm Control as they make the descent on the run towards the third last. Lord de Manil in the purple and yellow up the inner waiting in the wings. Sepage blue and white has been angled out. Go steady red cap right in behind Topville Ben. Widest of all. That was throughout. Storm Control much better there. Still just had the lead over Le Ligerien. Sepage waiting to pounce it would seem in behind. And then Go Steady working ever closer to Lord de Manil up the inner in touch in fifth. Small break to 
the top field, Ben Sam Brown and up Helia King and they're swinging for home with still more than a quarter mile to travel, two to jump and it's looking pretty competitive. Up amongst them in the centre, Le Ligerian has moved on now from Storm Control. Sepage on the left is asked for his effort, Le Ligerian pressing on over two out but he only led by a length, go steady in behind was down on his nose, well picked up, the old boys then fight it out as they head up towards the last, Le Ligerian, Sepage joining him though, they're in the air as one, they come away from it, three lengths clear of Lord de Manil. Sepage now trying to master Le Ligerian, and Sepage is beginning to assert, he's stretching away, it's been a fantastic afternoon for Venetia Williams, it gets better yet, Sepage rolling back the ears, runs out a comfortable winner, Lord de Manil stayed on into second, Le Ligerian third, then go steady and a rallying Sam Brown. Well, you could see from some way out that Sapage was very much in the mood and he has won at this course and distance before. And today he's triumphed well for Charlie Deutsch and Venetia Williams in those first time cheek pieces. He joined the leader at the last. That leader was Le Ligerien and he has faded from the last for third um, to, for Brendan Powell and Joe Tizard. He was caught for second by Lord de Menil for Richard Hobson and Gavin Sheehan. Back and forth was go steady. Charlie Deutsch was absolutely delighted by that, <laughs> exhilarated by the experience. Yeah, well, he's, he's just a horse that's been around in the, in the yard for years. He gave them a load of success. Um, quite uh, much earlier on in his career. This is a first win for Sapage in the best part of three years. So it's been a, a long time coming. He's obviously had his problems. He hasn't had that much racing at all over the last couple of seasons. So they've done really well to get him back on the track and in the, in the um, condition to be winning races again and winning them in style as well. They're like very well handicapped horse. He was one of those that we touched on beforehand saying that, you know, if they came back to form, they've got loads in hand of their mark and um, it was probably an ideal test for Sapage yeah. as well. He, he tracked the pace, travelling strongly, he's got more gears, more pace than a lot of the field in, in, in here and uh, he picked up well after challenging at the final fence. Yes, at this point Storm Control is up front. He will make a mistake at the fourth last, as will Sam Brown, who's already lost his pitch mm. and he does look as though he's not enjoying himself. Yeah, he's, he's, he seems to be... Um, struggling really to find any form at all, isn't he? He's not got the enthusiasm that he used to have. Um, Duke de Beauchene was always outpaced. That's not a surprise for a horse that's a thorough stayer. And I think Storm Control, you've touched on the key point. His jumping just seemed to let him down in the latter stages, really. Um, that was okay, but just later on in the race, he starts to make mistakes. Le Ligerien has run really well, and look, he's in he's in top form, isn't he? But he he just found one of those 